Actually, our house, I mean, it's pretty remarkable when you look at his to look at ours. Yes, it's definitely a mixed emotions. Um, we've been told a variety of different things before we came into the house that uh, you could see our kitchen from from his house, and uh, thankfully that was not true. But we do uh, keep in touch with our neighbor, and he is devastated. And while we're grateful, we feel incredibly guilty that uh, you know that our house was was spared. No. Well, the s tops of the of the uh, fence here is all charred and singed on this side. The intense heat came through. It did, did burn um, part of our backyard, as you can see right here. But firefighters firefighters were incredibly remarkable, and they were quick. They saved our house. Uh, we did chop down a tree this spring. That thankfully, if we hadn't, you know, maybe our house would have been up up in flames. This is the new reality. It is the new reality. And how, how, how do you begin to acclimate it? acclimate to it but how do you get back to you know what you're used to your, your normal routine? You know I don't know how you do that. Um, you know our the inside of our house is spared so when we're inside the house we don't even know until we come outside and we see Harold's house and you know we see the rest of our backyard and you know it's day by day. Um, since we've evacuated it's you know we focus on the next right thing that is right in front of us until the day's over and then you go to sleep and you wake up and you start all over again.